What's up guys, it's San here from Easy Crypto and in this video I'll be taking you through a tutorial on how to set up the Edge wallet on your mobile device. So the Edge wallet is a cryptocurrency wallet on your mobile phone and if you have an iPhone you can get it from the Apple App Store or if you have an Android phone you can download it from the Google Play Store. Now once you've downloaded the app you need to create an account with the Edge wallet uh, to start setting up your very own cryptocurrency wallet. So we need all we need to do is press create account. Um, and as you can see, welcome to Edge, getting started with Edge is easy. You'll choose a username and a password and we'll use those to encrypt your account. You have not complete, sorry, you have complete control of your digital assets, not even Edge has access to your information. So you press get started. And now you need to select a username. So make sure this is a username that you yourself will remember. Uh, your username and password is your only way to access your wallet. And if you forget both of those, the Edge wallet team can't actually help you at all. So make sure that the username and password that you're about to set um, is a username and password that you will not forget. If you are thinking that you might forget it, you should write these down uh, on paper and keep them in very hidden spots so no one else can access them or find them. So. I'm just going to be easy and just start off with mine and I'm just going to call it San47. Uh, Go next. Perfect. And now I have to set a password. So I'm going to set a password um, and there are a few things that you have to do with your password. So for example, if I just start typing, you can see I must have at least 10 characters, at least one lowercase and one uppercase letter, and I must use at least one number. So I'm going to set a password right now. And like I said before, you must remember this password. If you are worried that you might forget it, do write it down somewhere and keep that written down uh, password nice and safe. And once you have set your password, it will now ask you for a four digit pin. And I believe that this is just to access the wallet on your phone. So if anyone gets into your phone, um, instead of having to put in your username and password every single time you open the app, you instead will just have to use a pin code or also your biometric ID through your phone. So like a face scan or your fingerprint on your phone. So I'm just gonna set a pin now as well. Click next. And then we just have to go through a few terms of use. If you're happy with these, tick them all and press confirm. And great job, hang tight while we create and secure your account. So Edge Wallet is now creating me a wallet and here we go, almost done, let's write down your account information. So if I press view account information, it's gonna show me my username, my password, my pin code. And it's telling me to write this down so I don't forget because if I do forget this information, um, I will not be able to access my wallet or my cryptocurrencies stored in this wallet if anything went wrong. So if I accidentally deleted the app, my phone got stolen, my phone died, if anything happened like that, um, I will need this information to be able to open my wallet on another device through the Edge app. Once you've got this written down or memorized, press create. Slide wallets to show more options, okay. And so as you can see, I've already got a Bitcoin wallet set up in the app and you can see it's it's uh, syncing right now. It's also given me a Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum wallet. And all I have to do is click on the wallet and to receive my Bitcoin wallet address in case I wanna receive any Bitcoin into it, you press request. And down the bottom, you can see the Bitcoin wallet address. And probably the easiest thing to do is just press the copy button and it's copied to my phone clipboard. Not only that, but I've also got a few other coins here and I can actually add other coins. So let's just say that I wanted to buy some Litecoin from Easy Crypto and send it to my wallet. I select Litecoin and New Zealand dollars. I'm just gonna keep the name as my Litecoin, create a wallet. Now we wait for the Edge wallet to load. And there we go, I now have a Litecoin wallet also in my Edge app if I want to receive Litecoin. So if I'm gonna go buy some Litecoin through Easy Crypto and send it here, I need to go to request. And then down the bottom, my receiving wallet address, I can copy that and pretty much uh, get Easy Crypto to send my Litecoin there. So apart from that, that's how to use the Edge wallet. And as you saw before, I did select the currency, the fiat currency to be New Zealand dollars. You can actually press the menu button up the top right. And you can see a few more settings here. So you can change your pin, change your password. You can actually set up two factor security as well, which is something I'd recommend doing. It takes a little bit more admin and um, and learning, but it makes your account even more secure. You can auto log off after a certain amount of time so that um, your account isn't always logged in for more security reasons. You can change your default currency if you would like to view your crypto assets in a total balance of New Zealand dollars, Australian dollars, or US dollars, or any of these currencies, you can set that there as well. Um, and then you just got a few settings for the 
denominations of the cryptocurrencies that you use um, but that gets a bit more in depth so apart from that that's how to set up your edge wallet so you can start receiving cryptocurrencies into it like i said guys if you want to receive any of these cryptocurrencies from easy crypto you need to go find the cryptocurrency so let's just say i wanted to receive ripple i go create a new wallet select new zealand dollar again next create wallet and then all i have to do is go into the xrp wallet which is the bottom one here press request and then I get my receiving wallet address there that I can copy and then paste when I'm making an easy crypto buy order. Now if I was to make a sell order same thing I just send it to easy crypto um, and I just enter in the address that easy crypto gives me and I can just hold down and paste it there if I like. It's as easy as that. So that's pretty much a quick tutorial on how to set up the edge wallet. Just remember like I said guys you need to make sure that you don't forget your username and your password and also your pin code but most importantly your username and password like i said if anything went wrong if you accidentally deleted the app if your phone died if your phone got stolen if anything went wrong with the device that your wallet app is stored on your only way to get back in is to use that username and password and don't forget it because if you forget it the edge wallet team can't help you at all as well this is a non-custodial wallet meaning that you have full control and access over this wallet entirely they really have no input whatsoever. So it's up to you to remember your username and password. Now, apart from that, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. My name is San from Easy Crypto, and I'll see you in our next video.